혈측과 원장은 박정철입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. j o n g c h o l Park. I'm with the Hyo Dental Clinic. Today, I'm going to talk about surgery that I perform after removing implants. Immediate GBR was performed in this case after removing implants and if implants are placed immediately after the removal everything will be okay but uh, it is not a proper case for that after removing the implants GBR was conducted and implant placement would be performed later so it's a delayed approach So I'm going to talk about uh, removing implants and the immediate GBR uh, would be performed. In this case, number 16 and 17, implants were placed. In the implant site, uh, there is a severe vertical bone defect. And I told the patient that number 18 uh, needs to be extracted and number 15 tooth. It is a post-crown case, but the, the tooth did not have mobility or any other issues. The perimplantitis, if it progresses more around the number 15, the bone loss would occur around the tooth. And the distance between the tooth number 15 and number 16 implant was very short so when a vertical bone defect progresses a bone defect would occur around number 15 as well so and i told the patient we need to treat that as soon as possible and the patient said it bled during tooth brushing and the patient felt the discomfort for number 18 tooth as well so that is included in the treatment too so it was decided to place uh, implants at number 16 and 17 after removing implants in 16 and 17 and uh, extracting number 18 as well this is the uh, intraoral photo number 18 tooth had mobility number 16 and 17 if you look at the implants, perimplantitis has progressed quite a lot. In this patient, the vestibule is pretty much lowered like this, and the soft tissue form is bad. With severe progression of perimplantitis, the form of soft tissue is not really good. Now, implant prosthesis were removed first if you look at here uh, there is not much keratinized tissue and the vestibule is low and mucous gingiva is creeped up quite a lot using the efr kit implants were easily removed number 18 was extracted After that, a flap was opened for GBR. On the palatal side, uh, there is some defect. Uh, the patient had a vertical bone defect. So on the palatal side, osmen hard, a stiff a collagen membrane. Osmen would be inserted to act as a wall. So osmen hard was inserted. As for the graft material, we used LCR, the alloplast, which can be used instead of allograft. ACR product was mixed with AOS in the ratio of 1 to 1. LCR was used in place of allograft for the purpose of bone regeneration. AOS is xenograft to maintain volume. They were used like sandwich in the ratio of 1 to 1, not really layered, but uh, the AOS and LCR was mixed in the ratio of 1 to 1. And for the void area, AOS collagen was added. Osman soft was used to cover the site from the buccal side to the crystal side. 
Osteum sells three types of membrane. Osguide, Osman soft, and Osman hard. Osman hard is pretty stiff, so it is inserted on the palatal side. Osman soft, Osguide, um, I'm not sure how I can distinguish in the use of Osman soft from Osguide, but if I should select the choice again, I used Osmem Soft on the day of surgery because I just wanted to check the Osmem Soft's physical property. But I believe in terms of close attachment to the graft material, Osguide would be a little bit better considering its uh, physical property. So the Osmem Soft was fixated using one bone tag. I wanted it to prevent the movement of the membrane, so one bone tag was used, and after that it was sutured, and you can check how it went by watching the video. It is important to make membrane not moving, so I used the, the collagen membrane, two types of a membrane for that reason. I carefully choose one from two options. First, implants are just removed and I wait and GBR is performed. After bone is recovered, implants would be placed later. That's a really delayed method. Is that more effective? Or can I remove the implants and immediately perform GBR? and implants can be placed later. The decision I make between these two options is based on the soft tissue condition in my case. But in this case, I think I might have waited a little bit longer after the removal of the implants because on the buccal side, soft tissue looked like this. And then the site was sutured. If you look at here, I don't think uh, the site will open up. This is after surgery. This bone tech was used to fixate the membrane. This is post-op three weeks. On the buccal side, soft tissue at the initial visit, because gingiva was abundant and vestibule was low, maybe I could have waited a little bit longer but uh, the patient will undergo FGG. I don't think this option is a really bad option, though, because uh, the other option would lengthen the treatment time. We need to wait before GBR, and then implant placement can follow. And if necessary, soft tissue treatment should be accompanied, which can lengthen the treatment time quite considerably. So I wanted to reduce it even one step along the way. But if you look at the result here, maybe I should have waited after removing implants before doing GBR. Maybe that could have been better. The decision needs to be made by a surgeon based on some categories. I performed the surgery like this. In the future, we have the plan for the patient. Implants need to be placed. I think I will go for FGG before implant placement. And the patient is being followed up like this. APF and FGG will be performed. Anyway, bone recovery would be checked with the CT and panoramic images. If bone recovers properly, Flatly surgery using a guide can be performed or implants can be placed and later soft tissue treatment can be provided and a temporary can be given. Following treatment will be videotaped to share that with you and I'm going to show you the video of removing implants and doing GBR. Please watch.
영상을 통해서 확인해 보시기 바라겠습니다.